welcome to our uh, seminar masterclass on some future icon wines from Italy. One of the joys and frustrations of Italian wine is the sheer complexity of it. They're all, I think, really interesting wines. They all come with awards, um, commendations, acclamation. Il Castagno uh, is a wine, it's made 100% as I said from Syrah. This is made um, from very low yield. It's um, temperature controlled stainless steel tanks, very slow fermentation, about 15 days. To me, this is maybe Italian before it's varietal. There is a kind of smokiness there. The fruit seems to build in the mouth. The tannins are firm but quite fine. I think also this wine's pretty young. Bags of fruit, bags of flavour, lots of structure, and I think I'd be really happy to keep this five or ten years. On to our second wine, Il Polenza, Marche Rosso IGT 2008. This is a blend. Once again, the grapes are hand harvested. There's the unmistakable scent of Bordeaux varieties. Podere Forte Petrucci uh, DOC Orcha. This is a wine made by Pasquale Forte. We're in the southeast part of Tuscany. I think Sangiovese is kind of reclaiming its position as the, as the most important grape. That's given 20 days of maceration, and then it's aged in small barriques for 16 months, and then it's aged for a further 20 months in bottle before release. Uh, classic aromas for Sangiovese are things like cherry, but there's something subtle that's not fruit. Fairly firm acidity, quite firm dry tannins, but there's this lovely fruit there. It's really, there's, there's a finesse about this. On to number four, it's a Barolo uh, from Tenuta Due Corti, it's called Castelletto. Castelletto is in Monforte. In general terms, we expect the wines here to be richer, uh, concentrated, with quite serious intensity. And you can see some parallels between Pinot Noir and Burgundy and Nebbiolo in, in Barolo. On to wine number five, Calabria is still largely rural. It's almost like baked plums or baked tamarillos, that, those sort of, those red fruits that have been maybe slow roasted. A little bit of texture and grip, you know, for me it, it speaks to the south. Our last wine, this is from Gianfranco Fino, and it's called S. Fino is a relative, relatively new to the game. What's unusual here is that he allows the grapes to dry on the vine. I think because of that high alcohol and because of that, I think there's a bit of volatility there from the dried fruit, you know, you might see this as being a, you know, in the same realm as Amarone. I do think it is quite extraordinary wine. Fantastic, thanks for your time.